Howdy, everybody. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Rockets back, back, back. Do, do, do. Hi, so we're at Camp Daniel Boone um, at the southern, northern terminus of the Art Lobe Trail. And uh, we're going to be doing a 30 plus miles um, in a day and a half to two and a half days. We haven't yet decided, but yeah, we're just waiting for our shuttle to come get us and we're headed down to the southern terminus and we'll get started. All right, so our shuttle just dropped us off at the Art Loeb, Art Loeb Trail trailhead on the Davidson campground side. Um, it is the WNC, Western North Carolina Trail Shuttle. I will link the website because if you're ever gonna hike this trail, you need a shuttle because you cannot hitch. And uh, we have, what is it, 6.30. This is Long John, by the way. We'll introduce him some other time. Um, and so we have like, I don't know, maybe an hour left of daylight. So we're gonna go find somewhere to camp, set up camp, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for day one. So we're pretty sure we missed our campsite and now it's <laughs> pitch black and we're trying to find somewhere to camp, but you know, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so is this your first time blowing up a thermarest? <laughs> and back in my day, the thermarest didn't blow up. <laughs> what was back in your day? When did you through hike the Appalachian Trail? 20, the year of our Lord, 2012. <laughs> 2012? Yeah. Damn, did they even have gut hook then? So what do you think of all the new technological advances like the Neo Air, uh, the MSR Pocket Rocket? The biggest one is being around a girl that plans all the trip for me, so I just show up and watch. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Cheers! Okay, so we are all set up. We're just waiting for our pot of water to boil. And we did like what? Four miles today, probably. Um, yeah, we don't know exactly sure where we are. We have no navigation, no maps, no service. So we're just kind of winging it. For dinner. Tonight we're having a chain of masala. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is very late, like 9.30. <laughs> Uh, but somebody was up at 1 a.m. because they had dreams about bears. And so we were up chit chatting about the bears. But I suppose we'll get up and get to hiking. <laughs> So we ran into some gentlemen this morning that had a map since we didn't, and they let us take a picture of it. So now we kind of know where we are. Well, I think we think we know where we are. So that's helpful, because before we were just walking blind, following the white blazes. Alright, so we're eating lunch. 
at the creepy dilapidated shelter with the name I cannot remember. Chestnut. That was the other one. I think. Chestnut. <clears throat> Alright, so we're at Butter Gap Shelter eating lunch. How are you feeling, Corey? AKA Long John? Pretty swell. Pretty swell. It's been a while since you hiked. A few years. So you hiked the AT. Oh, bug. So you hiked the AT in 2012, huh? Yeah. Before it was cool? Yeah. Before. <laughs> You're still in black and white. Before there were vloggers and Instagrammers and people ruining the integrity of these beautiful trail systems <laughs> with their video footage. Accurate. Okay, so let's go through a quick, a quick rundown. No gut hook. No gut hook. A wall only and the Appalachian Trail Guide. Yep. You didn't have slur squeezes. What did you use? Um, I can't remember the brand. Aquamirum, aqua something. You had to yeah. mix the two chlorines together and mm -hmm. let it sit for a million. And then they had Sari pens, right? Yeah, but that didn't work. But out you got well. Giardia, didn't Definitely you? Definitely got Giardia. What other things are different? They didn't have the Neo Air. I think it just came out, but. Did they have Trail Magic back in the 1800s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they rode up on their horses and. Uh... Mm. How'd you listen to music? A little iPod. I had to bring a separate charger for him. There weren't power banks back then? I think they just came out too, but they weren't. They were like solar powered or something. <laughs> like some people had some solar powered like bricks that like take up the whole back of their backpack. Even trail magic on the Art Lobe Trail. Ooh, we're lucky. Alright, so we just crossed Gloucester Gap and we are now starting the 1900 foot climb up onto the ridge where it's supposed to get mighty pretty. So, and we're nearly halfway, so I think we're excited for some views and to get these pointless ups and downs. There's a crusty shelter. We are just leaving Deep Gap Shelter, which means we're halfway done with this trail. Hopefully the good part, the second half is the good half. So we're just trying to uh, get there. Both of us feel like, uh, how do you feel, Long John, AKA Corey? Help. <laughs> I left calf hurts because I stepped weird and then I tripped like five times, so. All right, Corey, what's for dinner tonight? Uh, what is for dinner? Um, duct tape curry. <laughs> and <a> lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> How, what are your thoughts on today? <laughs> Give us a them. rating and your thoughts. I got a few of them. Trail quality, uh, three out of ten. Imagine if uh, the Appalachian Trail only had like a hundred people walk on it a year. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, under maintained. Under maintained. How many times did we roll our ankles? Infinity. Um, this side of the trail is definitely like this 15 miles is like a bad day on the 18. Yeah. As far as just pointless up and downs. Like one pretty nasty climb because I'm old and have no cardio. So you're giving it a 3 out of 10? 5 out of 10? Yeah, as far as like if this was it and we finished today, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yep, never going back there again. Rate it. I mean, besides for the fact that I, I rolled my ankle like 15 times in a row, like with each step. Which never happens. Um, I mean, the foliage is pretty. The weather was good. We had one mediocre view. So I'm going to give it a 6.25. Hopefully tomorrow's better. I'm sure it will. All right, 
right, so we are well, well fed and ready to cozy in to our sleeping bags for the night. Why does yours look so cozy? Mm, it's extra cozy. About the extra cozy version. So, um, yep, we will see you all in the morning. Good morning. It is like 7 30, 7 40. Um, we're waking up. We have 13.3 miles left to go. And looking at the elevation profile, I think we have a total of like 900 or 1,000 feet of climbing for the whole day. So we're much more happy with that. Hopefully we can get done at a decent time so we can go check out some breweries in Asheville. Um, Corey uh, took his sweaty shirt off last night and didn't sleep in it like I did because I'm smart. And now he's having to put on a cold shirt. In the How do you feel about that? Are you cold? No. <laughs> We are currently crossing the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is where you get all of the views of the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina and Virginia without doing any of the work. So if you'd like to see the views, just get in your car. It's not worth it. Like that was our last big climb of this whole trail and we're very happy because I little like you the hurt. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. having for a morning snack. The butter of nutter. And what else? Mango sticky rice. Ooh. Snack with a view. Well, we listened to the guidance of an old gentleman who he told us to go the wrong way. We only went about a third of a mile the wrong way, so now we're just going back through this really tight mountain laurel forest, tunnely forest. But I guess we got to go to the peak of Shining Rock or Stairs Mountain, one of those mountains. So I guess we can check that off our list of um, overrated mountains in North Carolina. Ridge line, and uh, Corey keeps getting uh, 
stat it in the eye with branches. walking back to our car. What would you rate this trail? I'm gonna rate it an eight out of 10 because it handed us our asses. It was somewhat rewarding and it, it was pretty. <laughs> Everything that she said, but uh, with some more expletives. So like a seven out of 10 or also an eight out of 10? Um, oh, I mean. I'm gonna say difficulty wise, 10 out of 10. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely horrendously difficult. Uh, beauty, I'm gonna give it like a 7.5 to eight out of 10. Yeah. Because that there was like two miles that were absolutely stunning. <laughs> but you had um, to endure the misery to get there. Yeah, so overall I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> and now what are we going to go do? Uh, soak our everything. And? Eat pizza and beer. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>